Hello everyone, Michelle Krasmer and Dr. Hashmi here. Let's get straight to the question on this, Dr. Hashmi. What are lectins? It is a big buzzword right now. And do they impact kidney health? Yeah, great, great question. And so this is reminds me of some of the other videos we've done on things like the carnivore diet, where we talked about those myths. Let's talk about another myth of lectins. So, you know, lectins are interesting, right? They're found in all plants. They're nothing more than proteins that bind to carbohydrates. Now, this is how plants defend themselves in nature. So the challenge here is, is there are some lectins that are clearly toxic. For example, you know, you have this poison ricin, right? So this is a lectin that comes from the castor oil plant. If you take it, it could be lethal. Raw kidney beans are another example of a food that has a lectin. And in that particular case, the lectin can be toxic. If you end up taking it, you'll get nausea, vomiting, diarrhea from it. Okay, so that's there. But the last time I checked, raw kidney beans or any kind of beans are incredibly hard to chew on. So I'm not so worried about people sort of having these issues. You know, what happens with all of these lectins is that essentially they are very tough to break down in our guts and they tend to be stable in acidic environments. So as a result of it, when you take products that are high in lectins, what will happen is you will have an issue with trying to absorb minerals, specifically calcium, iron, phosphorus, zinc, those kind of things. So the the thought process on why this is such a buzzword is a lot of people say things like, well, if you eat foods that contain lectins, they're going to damage your gut microbiome and they're going to trigger inflammatory cascade reaction inside your gut. Now, if you guys have watched our video on IgA, we talked about the fact that IgA is basically a disease where there's overproduction of IgA, immunoglobulin. And so here we're talking about the fact that can these foods trigger that? The, the issue there is we have absolutely no data to support that. In fact, the data that we have supports the opposite. And the, the reason we say this is when we look at the data on folks who eat a predominantly animal-based diet versus those who eat a predominantly plant-based diet, we know that those folks who eat more plants, it doesn't matter if you're 100% or 80%, the more plants you eat, the more we find that the uremic toxins such as P-cresyl sulfate and doxyl sulfate, those uremic toxins are produced less when you're eating more plants. So in other words, the overall systemic inflammation and the overall gut microbiome dysregulation goes down when you eat more plants, despite the fact that plants have lectins. So when we talk about lectins, it's very important to understand, and this is the lecture joke that I always tell people is, if lectins truly were that bad, everybody in Asia would be dead. And last time I checked, Asia, South America, there's people who are thriving and they're surprised at why us, we keep getting these chronic diseases. So just keep that in mind is when you get a lot of hype, something seems too good to be true, chances are it probably is. So Michelle, then what foods are high in lectins? And the most obvious question is, how do you lower lectins in the food? Yeah. So, I mean, you basically said this, but, you know, plant foods are all going to contain lectins, but raw legumes and whole grains are going to have higher amounts. Um, and when I say legumes, you know, beans, lentils, peas, soybeans. Um, so the key though, is that don't consume them raw, right? To lower the amount of lectins then cook them. And so we don't, like you said, we don't eat raw beans. We cook them. We cook our whole grains. Um, I mean, you can even, if you soak dried beans, and then you cook them, then you can remove even more lectins. So I think that's the thing is just don't eat raw or undercooked legumes. Um, make sure that you're cooking them and then you're lowering the lectins. Um, and just from a standpoint too, of, um, of course, it's rare, right? It's rare for people to be eating these things raw, but the benefit of eating legumes and even whole grains is you're getting fiber, you're getting B vitamins, you're getting, uh, you know, plant sources of protein. And so these are all things that are very beneficial to people for heart health, gut health, but especially kidney health. And so don't, you know, get onto that hype of, you know, I can't have lectins because most people aren't having this raw active form of lectins. They're cooking their legumes and they are totally fine. So there's your, there you guys have it on lectins and kidney disease. Thanks guys.